Hello Topaz Studio users, this is Joe Jasper and I'm making this video in response to another user on the our community uh, Facebook page for Topaz Studio. Uh, this is Topaz Studio 2 version 2.04 and we're going to make graduated color filters uh, for this image uh, and then save it as a look so that it can be reused. Uh, this is sort of a temporary fix until we get to save textures, which is coming soon. So let's add a filter, go down to color overlay, and we'll choose, in this case, I'm going to use a nice cooling foreground. And I'll take it up to 100%. Then I'm going to add a second color overlay. And for this one, I'm going to choose a bold, goldy sort of look. Or orangey, peachy, whatever. Turn that up to 100%. And start the magic of using a mask. So it's this top layer, not this layer, but this top layer that we're going to click on that flag with the dot in the middle brings up our mask. And here's our masking tool for graduated filter. I'm going to turn the edge awareness off. I want my graduated filter to go in the other direction. Now you can make it very graduated from top to bottom like so. Or you can make it medium, or you can make it relatively abrupt. Usually you want some transition. If you're doing this for one particular image, you may want to turn on some edge awareness, but we're going to be able to use this for multiple images. And I think I like something like that. So now I'm going to apply that. And <clears throat> what I want to do is click on this X to hide that mask. Go back to my first color overlay, change it to soft light or overlay, depending on how intensely contrasting I want that to be. I think soft light works nicely. And then the same thing with this one, uh, because of the brightness in the clouds, uh, overlay may be too intense. A soft light may be nicer. And uh, then we can play with the amount of color. So we don't want it to be too gaudy. So there we have a graduated color overlay look. I'll show you the before and the after. And uh, in looking at that, I might still say, eh, it's a little too much in the sky. So usually I'm 14 to 18% uh, visibility, but for this image, having a little warmer uh, look in the sky is nice. I think uh, keeping the foreground about there looks pretty good. So then if I like this, look and want to be able to reuse it, I go to save look and call it uh, graduated color filter gold to lilac or something. And you can give it a description. Maybe put your initials next to it. Uh, <clears throat> click OK. Now that's going to save it except for the mask, which you will have to reapply, unfortunately. So uh, that'll be something that is resolved by being able to save it as a texture instead. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, let's trash these and go looking for under uh, 
under my effects, perhaps. My looks. Click the search bar, uh, the magnifying glass for searching, and That's a different one that I had. Uh, graduated color filter. I've done this several times now, both in rehearsal and uh, two previous recordings. So uh, if we open this up, you'll see that the mask is not applied yet. So we have to go back in and reapply it however you want. Which is also nice because then you can kind of customize it to uh, your particular image, how you want it to look, and you can decide whether you want edge awareness on or not. And there you go. Uh, you're now able to use a color graduated filter that's going from cooling the foreground and darkening it a bit to the uh, orangey sky and combination thereof. And again, you can vary the opacity of each of these layers. Uh, if the effect is too strong, you can bring it down. So that's the graduated color. Let me throw in the bonus round of adding some depth with a graduated neutral density filter. Um, and again, you can save this by starting with the image already processed to the point you want. Save it, close it, bring it back in uh, so that when you go to save a look, you're only applying the new filters. Let's start here. I'm going to go to color overlay again. I'm going to start with black. And uh, so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to turn that all the way up in opacity. I'm going to apply a second color overlay in white. Turn it all the way up. And then I need a mask for that. What I want is for my foreground and my directly overhead sky, so the top and the bottom to be black and the middle to be uh, white. And so I'm going to shrink the image on my screen. I'm using my mouse to do that. I'm going to click on, uh, I'm going to first actually invert this mask. Then I'm going to click on my spot tool, expand it however much I want. Um, this is the way rods and cones in your eye work to uh, see both color and, and light intensity. Uh, I think this works pretty well. <laughs> it's going to focus you now. The trick here is to come down to the transparency and go from black all the way to white. And we're going to turn the edge awareness all the way down because you may want to make this a reusable filter. And then change the blend mode to overlay. And the same with the previous black layer, change it to overlay. And uh, you could then save this new look if you haven't done anything else down here. You could just save these two added filters as a new look and be able to then vary the density for both in one, in one uh, move to the bar here of the opacity. But right now we've got to do 
each individually. And so now we have dark at the top and bottom, light in the middle, uh, which gives the atmospheric effect pulling us into the center. Uh, the neat thing about doing it individually for each image, uh, because when you save this, the mask will disappear, is that you will then be able to locate exactly where you want your highlight to be. So you may, in this image, want it to be more white through this area, darker over here perhaps than over here to help focus the eye on the subject of this. So what if we just want a graduated neutral density for the sky alone? Add a filter, color overlay, change it to black. Click OK. Apply a mask. And Find our horizon, apply it, and then invert it. Change the blend mode to overlay. And there you have a graduated filter that you can get pretty intense with. Uh, notice that it not only increases the contrast in the clouds, but also the uh, color contrast when we do that. So I can copy this mask, add a filter, HSL, tone down uh, the blues or overall saturation and be looking to do that mostly in the sky, but uh, you notice that we may have included the house a bit, so I mean the, the buildings a bit, so let's just try toning down those blues a bit. And then create the mask, paste, and there's our same nice little filter. And of course you can tweak it by choosing the brush. So here's the before and after of the graduated filter HSL and graduated color overlay. Let's turn back on the HSL and just see what happens when we put on the graduated neutral density filter for the sky. And that's it. So uh, I like doing it custom for each image, but sometimes it's nice to have a saved color overlay. I think it will be much easier when we can save them as textures and apply them. Don't forget to use your different blending modes.